guys, this is Paper Lore Plays, and welcome back to our Super Paper Mario adventure! It's been a little while. If you recall, last time we went through the, we, and finished Chapter 2, we battled Mimi, we uh, got rid of our debt, we talked to the guy at the flip side bar a lot, we got told to go, we put our heart pillar in the heart pillar in the heart pillar in the heart pillar. Um, and now we're gonna go into chapter three. <laughs> I'm, I do apologize for the long wait, but I mean, what else is new? Uh, without further self-deprecation, let's just go in. There's nothing more to see or do here. Let's move on. To what is plenty of people's favorite chapter? Mario and his new friends open the door, unsure of what they would find. All the while, Merlee's words about finding the other two heroes rang in their minds. Were these other heroes somewhere in this new world? If not, where? Meanwhile, the creeping void grew larger in the skies above Flipside. The hopes of all worlds rested on the heroes finding the next pure heart. Chapter 3-1 When Geeks Attack So this is where that door leads. I suppose the next pure heart must be nearby. That's odd. I can feel it nearby, but where could it be? What could this mean? Well, ah! <laughs> Hey, Technical! I got a super rare pixelated butterfly! My friends at DigiButter.nerd are going to freak when they get word of this find! I must bring it home! I can't miss this week's episode of the Grotus Chronicles! No way am I going to entrust my digital recording yow to tape an episode so epic! This is so high technical. <laughs> yeah, that happened. Tippy? Well, well, what's this? Whoa, a kidnapping! Oh, the despair! The awful spectacle of it all. The shocking scene occurred right before my very own tender eyes. Well, I guess that's a wrap for that pixel. Now that that freak Francis has got her. Technically, we could just go on, but I kind of want to know what's up with the bush. Whoa! Who's this guy? Guy. Guy. A friend of the butterfly girl that got nabbed? Well, that's a pity. I can geek the grabber, Francis. Basically, the nerd to end all nerds. Plus, he's got this thing for butterflies and, well, all things nerdy, too. If he gets his sweaty mitts on something he likes, there's no getting it back. He collects stuff and keeps it in his big fantasy fortress. It's like geek paradise. Where is this Fort Francis? Well, if you go all the way down ahead for miles and miles, you'll find it. You're not thinking of infiltrating the nerd lair and rescuing her, are you? Look, nobody likes having their butterfly kidnapped by a geek, but it's dangerous! One of my favorite lines in the whole game. Still set on it, eh? What a tender moment. I think I got something in my eye here. Listen, let me give you some travel tips. You listening? Good. All I got for you is three critical tips, so remember all of them. He's first step. A bunch of no-class jerks are holed up in this castle up ahead. It ain't gonna be easy getting past them, but here's the juice. It's an old castle. You do your thing with that red X mark and maybe something will happen for you. Now for my second tip. I'm slowly gaining a New York accent. If you somehow pass those clowns at the castle, you'll see an ocean. Can't miss it. 
A scary sea monster. Mon <laughs> this is why I don't do accents. The beast is huge. Huge. And cranky. But if you toast his red flipper thing, something good is bound to happen. And here's the last tip. Once you swim your way through the ocean, you'll see a humongous tree. There's a huge gorge on the other side. There's no jumping across it. I'm Cockney now, by the way. I'm, I'm a pixel. I've been everywhere, man. Across the desert there, man. I don't know the words, man. Look for the red wind and do something with it. Then you can get across. Got all that? Good. You be careful now. By some crazy chance you do save her, come back and tell me how you did it. Okay, so, uh, Francis is, is the main reason that people love this chapter so much. Also, my two button doesn't seem to be. Ah, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, crisis averted. But, uh, yeah, Francis is... I don't want to get any comparisons to either myself or... A... Oh. Great way to start this. Uh, either to myself or to a certain other uh, anime-obsessed lizard, but yeah. If you will notice, these Koopas here do not have sunglasses. And as we all know, as a uh, staple of Paper Mario, sunglasses are the mark of evil. I don't know where Anastasia gets all those sunglasses. I mean, I guess it's not like all her because they were do that had that in the previous games too. I mean, Bowser just like sunglasses? I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. Bowser is uh, a bit of an enigma. Alright. So, uh, this is not my favorite chapter, but it's a lot of people's favorite. So, uh, that's worth something, I guess. I do like the style of this. It's a lot of fun. Not least of which because... Big Mario! I can't wait to see how that looks on the waveform. Alright, let's run, 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 run. Break pipes, break Koopas, break everything. We're gonna get our vengeance for everything that has happened. Okay, there we go. Vengeance, ven vengeance had, vengeance exacted. Okay. Uh, and then there's this. Yup! <laughs> yup! Super Koopa. But luckily, we get to fight back. Turtle is no match for Angry Princess. Okay, we've, 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 we've seen this quite a bit, this chapter, already in the past, like, minute. Come on. Yeah, you can just straight up destroy him. Your super form is a little more powerful than that guy's! Alright. Where are we going? Where are we headed? Uh, fall in between the red pipes! I, I'm I'm an excellent I'm an expert in that language, whatever mysterious language that was. I'm actually very fluent in Scrotikub. Uh, I don't know if you know this. I just they didn't offer a course for it in my college though, so I had to take German instead. I wish I could think of something to say in German at that point, but I also failed German in college, so uh, that's not likely <laughs> to happen. <laughs> When I'm trying to think of something else. Ooh, it's been a while since I commentated. I've been doing Twitch streams, but... Uh... Not so much uh, videos in a while. Which, you know, like like I said, I apologize. Don't want to draw too much attention to it. But, you know, 
I'm, I'm still here. I'm still here. Even if I probably shouldn't be, I'm still here. Oh. Okay. You know, I should probably just be Peach for this. I'm still here. I still... Hmm. Just keep falling in holes. That's a good... That's, that's, that's good, right? Just keep falling in freaking holes. Oh, there's something in the background. We should go grab that. I don't know uh, where it is we can grab that. Haha. Uh -huh. we, we snuck by. Sequence break. Jeez. Okay, dried shroom. so much garbage. No, I do not want... I do not want dried shrooms and ham. Alright, okay. I see what we're doing. This might make it a little easier. Actually, I think that's the only way that's possible. I am not sure. I may just be bad at jumping. So yes, let's go and... Now, since this is an item, I'm just gonna... Oh. Excuse me for a moment. I didn't think this through all the way. What else is new? <laughs> lore, not thinking something through? Perish the thought. Perish the lore. Okay, so now we're good. Now we're good on health, and we have an inventory space, and we're not going to keep falling into holes, hopefully. But, uh, that last part I'm not entirely sure of, you know? Who knows what could happen? It's, a uh... Day's only just begun. Catch card SP. So these were actually unlocked in the previous... Um, well, the shop for these was unlocked in the last one, and I don't remember if I've talked about them yet. But basically, these are, uh, Pokemon cards. Pretty much. Card that captures a foe soul, it almost always works. So it's sort of like a little training card game. Of course I've talked about these, but I don't know if I've talked about the item. I don't know if I've had the item yet. Yeah, there was a catch card store that was unlocked and we'll check out later. I don't know, this is why... This is why it's terrible for me to record and then stop and then record and then stop. Because then I don't remember what I've actually talked about. Also, we can't ID anything in this uh, chapter because, of course, Tippy's gone. <laughs> Rather unfortunate. Also, that website you mentioned, digibutter.nr. I don't know if that's still the case, but I know back when it was, somebody did actually make it as a uh, Super Paper Mario sort of fan site deal. So they say to jump between the red pipes. Red pipes here. And we have the obligatory 1-2 reference. You know, they have to do it. They can't do it to them. Okay, how long do you think these guys are gonna last? I'm actually trying to keep them alive this time. quite get up there, but we might get a chance to. I don't actually remember. Okay, that's one of them gone. Of course, we all know how this level goes, or at least most of us should, and if you don't, shame on you. Uh, okay, that's another one down. And then all of them fell in a hole! Great job! Really, A+. Plus. Um... Alright, here. Wait, does that one have sunglasses? Why does this one have sunglasses? I genuinely do not know that. Why that one has sunglasses. But yes, we do, in fact, have a warp zone. The most well-known secret in all of Mario history. Now, is there anything more here in 3 There is a chest. Swiggity swaks what's in a box. Magic Koopa card. 
You know, Magic Koopas are probably some of my favorite enemies in the Mario series, like the mainstay enemies. Magic Koopas are pretty great. I think I had like a little Persona character that was a Magic Koopa once, like a long time ago. Me and my friends were making like Mario Sonas. One of my friends, like we had a, we had a. One of them was a star spray like Starlo. Uh, we can't go back down there. That was a mistake. Uh, one of them, one of them was a goom. There was a Goomba. There was a Boo. We had a Boo. I know. Uh, get out of here. <laughs> I don't remember what everybody was, actually. But yeah, that's where, uh, that pipe goes, and we can actually see what the third one is. But yeah, that, and that was a little magic but In training. And it, it, it I, t I just really like them, okay? <laughs> Well, you get to see this level in 3D. Because... I'm apparently a complete dingbat. But at least we don't have a... But How? This isn't Smash Bros, bro. This, that doesn't come until later in the year this was released, I think. Yeah, I think that was later in the year. I, I know Galaxy came out after this. I, I don't remember, like, the exact... No, this was 2007. Brawl was in 2008, I think. I never actually had Brawl for uh, the Wii. The first Smash Bros. game I had was 4. Just because, you know, it made sense because I'm not really good at fighting games, nor do I particularly enjoy them. I mean, I was terrible. Oh, okay, uh, cutscene. HALT! Yeah, you! This is Bowser's castle! And his burliness doesn't like chumps like you geeking up the place. Oh, you haven't seen Geek. You have not seen Geek. We have seen Geek. And we are not it. You're about to get a co complimentary nose job, courtesy of my shell. Come on out, fellas! Yeah! Come and get some! Sure. Yeah, and you're all just gonna walk around up here. But yes, Bozer. Good old Bozer. Also good. good old Bozer's here and the old minions that we know. Different different degrees of loving. Where's our freaking Actually, do we have a magic of a card yet? I need to check. I don't. Th oh, we have a magic Koopa. Okay. So I could have gotten the hammer, but never mind. All right. So red X. We were we had a red X mentioned to us along with a few other uh, red related things. So let's see what we can do about that. It's also a crack in the wall. So... Don't know how that works, but Mario logic. I like how we get coins from that. Please tell me someone didn't just blow up my awesome lair. I wouldn't really call that awesome. It was kind of dinky, actually. Hey! I know that stash from somewhere. Mario! And Princess Peach. Why do you always have to do that? That's like the hundredth time you've shown up at my castle and screwed everything up. Ah. Bowser, please. This is a farce. But now you've entered a fortress of pain, Mario! No more sequels, it's gonna end right here, right now, once and for all! 
Well, given how much I've been playing Odyssey lately, I kind of uh, doubt that there's gonna be no more sequels. I mean, you're also gonna do the exact same thing we t that you did here and try to marry Peach, despite, you know, that creating a world's ending uh, paradox. Iframes! But yeah, this this is this is a farce, Bowser. Give it up. We've done this so many times before. No, I hate Mario. It's it's not fair. Mario. Are you okay? Ah, oh, Princess Peach, my lovely wife. Your wife? What? Are you kidding me? How could you forget our big day? Well, I was sort of, uh... I was sort of asleep during most of it, and then I woke up, and then I was asleep again. <laughs> that sham was not a wedding! What are you doing here anyway, Bowser? How should I know? I was locked up in Camp like stupid castle. When all of a sudden, BAM! Me and the minions wake up face down in this field. Then we found this awesome castle, and I thought, why don't make myself aware? Well, you see, Bowser, we really need your help. Why don't you come with us? Wait, what? Black got us married just to make a chaos art, though, so that he could destroy the world? Yes, and that is why we need you to help us find the pure hearts. No! I don't want it. I'd think about it if it was for you, but there's no way I'm helping Mario. Come on, don't you remember like 10 years ago, Bowser? We were trying to get that giant sword from out, uh, from being stuck inside your castle, you know? You, you were trying to, you get, brought a whole army there and you started crying, it was great. We don't have time for you to be, be a big baby about this. Come on, Bowser, please. But I'm Bowser! I'm Great 800% Prime Cut Final Boss! I'm gonna take over the world any day now! Which world, though? We've established there are a lot of those. No way am I helping Mario! He's always trashing my awesome plans! Please? For me? No. I don't want it. Then the Paddish! What'd you say? If the world ends, there's not gonna be any world for me to rule? And what will happen to your poor minions who were caught by Count Black? They've been brainwashed. They now do his evil bidding, not your evil bidding. Now your minions will have to fall toil under a different cruel and merciless master. But, but, <laughs> why? <sighs> Fine! I'll join your stupid quest! You happy? Oh, thank you, Bowser. You're so sweet. No, I'm not sweet! And I'm not helping Mario just to save a bunch of worlds. I'm only doing it so I can rule someday. So don't get all cuddly with me, Mario. Alright, Bowser. You big sweetie. Bowser joined the party! Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for the follow- I'm- <clears throat> When controlling Bowser, press down on the control pad to breathe fire on your enemies. His breath is ferocious, so use it to drop any enemy that stands in your way. Except the ones that are immune to fire. Lord Bowser! Your crabbiness! Are you leaving us? What? Oh yeah. Minions, hold down the fort until I return. What fort? We just blew it up in a completely illogical chain reaction. You're there safe with us, sir. Oh, sir, it seems that Count Black has brainwashed some of your loyal hench people. They're probably going to be forced to attack you, so feel free to dole out punishment. Of course, we'd love to come along and defend you, but, you know, we just, uh, get in the way, your heinousness. Clobber that cam for us. Yeah, anyone who wears a cape and a monocle is just begging for a beating. Long live King Bazzard! 
We'll miss you, your surliness. Party! Oh, you guys. Fine, come on. Let's get your stupid precious heart or whatever you call it. I said move it. So yes, we get Bowser now. Bowser is excruciatingly slow. However, um, we can uh, alleviate that problem in a short while. But uh, yeah, so he's here with us. He can breathe fire. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. So uh, I I don't know. I was gonna say something about all that, but then I did I didn't. But Mario's a pretty good negotiator for you know never talking. And then I think Peach just likes pushing his buttons at this point. I'm surprised she even remembers the wedding, considering how little she was actually, you know, conscious for it. But <laughs> I can't believe he still thinks it was a wedding. Like, what did he think was going on? Like, why did, why did he think she just kind of, like, collapses on the altar? It's probably because she is so excited she fainted. Um, yeah, that's it. I, I like to think that he was locked up in the castle and that Natasha didn't even try to brainwash him because look at this guy. He's, he's, he's... <sighs> He'd be useful, but it's also not worth it. So anyway, end of chapter here. Let's go on with dear old Boozer. The grumpiest crybaby to ever exist. We love him. End of chapter! Right, well, that's about enough adventure for now. We got through 3-1. Butterfly kidnapped by a geek. Bowser's joined the party. Next time, we will go on to... I believe Barry said that the ocean... I believe the pixel said that the ocean was next. So, water levels! Woo! But for now, this is Paper Lord Plays, signing off. See you around. Okay, we're still recording. We're still recording. We're still good. And I'm still here. And I want a moment. Oh. I hit that with my water bottle by accident. <laughs>